the power of we. That together we can pay tribute to our rich past by laying the groundwork for a vibrant future. We are the Catholic Diocese of Evansville. More than 29,000 parishioner families worshiping in 69 locations across our southwestern landscape of Indiana. Many parts. Behold the Lamb of God. All one body in Christ. The Diocese of Evansville is a wonderful place to discover the love of Christ. Each community in the Diocese of Evansville is unique, but they all fit together in a really wonderful way. Joan, be sealed with the gift of the Holy Spirit. We believe our sacramental life is core to who we are and that we're challenged to make the gospel come alive for ourselves, our families, and our neighbors. What I love about the people that I serve is that they come from all walks of life and wherever they are in their lives, they are uh, dedicated to really following Christ where they are. For the kingdom and the power and the glory. Together, we are embarking on an inaugural journey for the future of our diocese. Stewards of God's Grace, a shared parish's diocesan capital campaign effort for the greater good of all who call our diocese home. Grace is of God. Grace is something that God alone provides. And as stewards, it's a, it's a way of reminding ourselves that while we can't create it or make it, uh, we have the responsibility and the privilege of being able to embrace it, discern it, and benefit from the richness of what God provides. Blessing God be with you. It's an exciting time because I think it's an opportunity for the whole diocese to come together and look at bigger plans for the future and it's a little bit of a springboard for some of the exciting things that can happen going forward. I baptize you. Now is the time to move forward, joining together to meet the needs of the church in Southwest Indiana and impact five key pillars. Fortification of our local parishes, seminarians and priests, Catholic education and faith formation, social outreach, and diocesan structure responsibilities. Stewards of God's grace will have a positive impact in every corner of our diocese, starting with our parishes. 50% of funds raised will be returned for local parish projects, including building and renovation initiatives, debt repayment, establishing endowments, and creating or enhancing ministries. I think every parish has some kind of project that they would like to fund. And if nothing else, just even endowments would be a big asset to many parishes. So when the diocese is providing that for us and helping us to address some of the needs that we have, it's a tremendous help to us. It takes so much uh, weight off of our shoulders. All glory and honor is yours. Stewards of God's grace will also put the power of we to work for our current future and retired priests. Without priests, of course, we, we have no uh, diocese, we, ha we have no parishes. There are leaders and, and we need them. So we need to be actively recruiting new priests and, and helping form them and guide them. And we need to be offering a lot of support to those priests that are actively serving now. The Social Security Center were getting $300, $400 a month, and, and, and they just really could not live on that. Our priests really need a decent retirement. Your generous support will strengthen the Seminarian Endowment Fund. And my fear is that there are a lot of guys out there who aren't even coming to me as the vocation director because they're afraid that money is going to be an obstacle. There are plenty of other obstacles out there in this world, but that's one we don't want to even exist. For some young man that wants to discern the priesthood, we don't want the financial part to be a burden to that or an obstacle to go into the seminary. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Finances are also a concern for our retired priests. Through Stewards of God's Grace, we can fund the Retired Priests Trust. And uh, that's that's a great gift. It's a great gift to our priests to allow them to have the sense, I'm going to be okay. For our current priests, we will help satisfy their need for ongoing education, sabbaticals, and an emergency clergy aid fund. To know that there would be a bit of a safety net in place uh, to help a man get back on his feet and be able to go back to ministry 
uh, again, just another comfort that uh, I'm not sure that we can even put into words uh, how valuable that would be. Another pillar of our campaign will fund support for Catholic education and our faith formation programs. We are in a time where the Catholic community needs all the help she can find in forming our children. I think that what this capital campaign offers to us is an opportunity not only to build up our individual schools, but also uh, provide funding that is going to be available for families of need that might otherwise uh, be unable to place their kids in our schools. That funding will be spread across many areas building greater awareness, offering continuing education to faculty, and enhancing our faith formation efforts. In total, it will help increase student enrollment and diversity by bridging the financial gap for hardworking families. It strengthens our schools, our religious education programming, our faith formation for youth and young adults, and in turn, builds our church. In our Catholic schools, we educate, we inspire, and we proclaim. If we do a great job with that, then those families have children that are raised in an environment where we are forming those individuals in the Catholic faith. If we're not teaching people the, the story of our faith, then how do we call ourselves a vibrant faith community? So what Catholic education does is teaches people the story of Jesus Christ. It evangelizes. Its primary function is teaching people the gospel story. And so that's what uh, youth ministry, catechesis, and Catholic schools all do together. We are learning about God all the time, and you learn about God in different ways at a different times in your life. Now, I just think that education is fundamental to who we are, but it's also formation, formation as a person. Together, through Stewards of God's Grace, we will also strengthen our social outreach efforts and serve to break the cycle of poverty in southwestern Indiana. We are called to help make all the residents of southwestern Indiana enjoy a uh, life filled with human dignity. To help families, to help uh, those all too often coming from divorced or broken homes, counseling with drugs, all of those kind of things are very important in this area. Instead of giving the less fortunate a fish, we will teach them to fish. The business community is partnering with Catholic Charities to realize an innovative work training enterprise it will provide on-the-job training and experience for the local unemployed. So that they can begin to take care of themselves and their families with solid wages and good benefits. Uh, having stable families who are working outside the home to sustain themselves, those are the building blocks of any community. And they're especially the building blocks of the future of Southwestern Indiana. To launch this program and continue to serve a growing client base, Catholic Charities will need a permanent home with adequate space for both programs and administration. Your generosity will help create that permanent home. There's so much there, there's so much richness to help us love our neighbor as ourself. And so we are constantly called to reach out. We, we serve people not because we're Catholic, we serve people because we are Catholic. Finally, Stewards of God's Grace will allocate funds for energy efficient window installation for the Chancery offices constructed in the early 1960s. Truly a cost-effective move. Your impact will be seen in cathedral repairs and renovations. That's important. The buildings that house our, our bishop's office and the, all the supporting staff and other diocesan services, it needs to be well maintained and in good shape. The remarkable faith community that our diocese is today started more than 150 years ago. We are now in charge of its future. We invite every household of our faith family to support a common goal, raise the crucial funds to create stronger parishes, build a stronger diocese, and help us grow as good stewards. We're all blessed by God. And so as a steward of God's grace, it seems to me that we're each put in charge of of what God has given us. And so to share that with the Catholic community and to share that with the Catholic Church becomes our gift to God. The Diocese of Evansville will celebrate its 75th anniversary during the life of this noble campaign effort. Our prayer is that every family will participate 
pray for the success of this campaign and help us fully explore the power of we. It goes back to what we received and that we're standing on the shoulders of all these great people who have given so much to our church and to our, our diocese and the fact that this is our opportunity to get behind that and to keep it going. The best way we can prepare for this is through prayer and reflection and that proper focus of what it's all about. It's about Jesus Christ and serving the people of God and carrying forth the mission that has been entrusted to us and building on the blood, sweat, and tears of all those who've gone before us. An inaugural journey on behalf of the future of the Catholic Church in southwestern Indiana. The Father. The we believe in the power of we. We are stewards of God's grace. Thank you.